Greetings to everyone. My name is Yamkela Mkwaju. I am from the Department of Biotechnology at the University of the Western Cape. Here, I will be presenting on our work that focuses on the assembly of the rooibos genome using long and short read sequencing data. Aspalatus linearis or rooibos is a South African medicinal plant endemic to the Cedarbeck Mountains of the Western and Northern Cape. It is used for the production of the well-known beverage, rooibos tea. The plant produces a range of medicinally active compounds associated with diverse health benefits, such as anti-diabetic, anti-inflammatory, and antispasmodic properties. The genes involved in the production of these compounds are not known. Our research group at UWC is the first to sequence the genome and diverse transcriptomes of rooibos. The genome size of rooibos was estimated to be 1.2 gigabase pairs using flow cytometry. This was subsequently confirmed by KMA analysis of Illumina sequencing data, and the results were published last year. For Illumina sequencing, three libraries were constructed, one paired and 300 base pair insert library which was sequenced using MySeq and HiSeq, and two mate pair libraries with inset sizes of 3 and 8 kilobase pairs, sequenced using HiSeq. The data was quality processed using Tromomatic for removal of adapter sequencing and quality trimming, lighter for error correction, and filter by tile for removal of reads in the lowest quality areas of the flow cell. The quality process data set amounted to one terabyte of data and a genome coverage of approximately 200 times. Assembly of the sequencing data was conducted at CHPC on the big MemQ with 56 cores and one terabyte of memory. The data was assembled with three genome assembly programs, Abyss, Platanus, and Mazurka. Mazurka gave the best results compared to other programs. The total assembled length was similar to the predicted genome size, but the assembly remained highly fragmented. This fragmentation significantly hinders gene discovery. Third generation sequencing technologies produce long reads, which are greater than 10 kilobase pairs. Such reads can span large repetitive regions and improve the contiguity and quality of genome assemblies. One of the Oxford nanopore sequence Technology's device is a minion, which weighs less than 100 grams and can fit in a palm of a hand. Here, we sequenced four libraries using minion and R9 flow cells. In total, we generated half a terabyte of data, which amounted to approximately 30 times genome coverage. The N50 varied between 4.3 kilobase pairs to 6.5 kilobase pairs and the longest read length was 112 kilobase pairs. Differences in amount of sequencing data are most likely associated with different library preparation protocols. Five long read assembly programs were tested, Shasta, Fly, Raven, Redbean, and Kanu. Kanu could not run because of insufficient genome coverage. We also tested two hybrid assembly programs, Mazurka and Hasla. Hasla also could not run to completion. Of the four long read assemblies, Red Bean produced the best, the best assembly. It was fast and used less computational resources. Using long reads for the rooibos genome reassembly dramatically improved genome contiguity. The N50 increased from 10 kilobase pairs to 143 kilobase pairs, and the longest quantic length increased from 82 kilobase pairs to 1.7 megabase pairs. In future studies, long read assemblies will be polished using various polishing tools. We will then proceed to mask the repeat regions and genome annotation. We would like to thank the Roibos Genomics team, Roibos Farmers, CHPC Help Desk, and all displayed companies and institutions for their support.